Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. You know, in a time when many of us are working from home, our, our sartorial everyday wear is usually comprised of a pair of sweatpants, pajamas, boxer shorts. Well, in this day and age, it's just, it's, it's, it's nice to put on a, a crisp white Sea Island cotton shirt, a, a nice luxurious watch, a, a leather belt, do you remember what belts are? Yeah, they're the things that hold up your pants. And, and speaking of pants, just a simple pair of dress slacks, trousers in gray, and a pair of very comfortable, almost Fleming-like leather loafers. This feels great. I almost feel dressed up during this time. But you know, I'm standing in front of the Roger Moore section for a particular reason, and that is because we need to talk about a piece of Bond clothing that is synonymous with Roger Moore, and it is the double-breasted blazer. And boy, are we going to explore this in specific detail today, because other Bond actors have worn the double-breasted look, either in suit form, uh, sometimes with a coat, and yes, even as a blazer, sometimes, like Pierce over here, just opened up, not even button, flapping in the wind. But somehow Pierce Brosnan makes it look good. Damn him. But no, today we've got to talk about Roger Moore because he is the double-breasted blazer guy. I mean, he is, whether it's in his personal life, on the interview circuit, in his many other roles, and yes, as James Bond. In several of the movies, he wears a double-breasted blazer. One of the most memorable ones to me was, of course, Moonraker. It's got that incredible cut. And so, it acts as an inspiration for so many of us. One of those us's is Benson and Clegg. Now, you know Benson and Clegg because they are the ones that uh, have the tie slide. We talked about that in a review, the No Time to Die tie slide or clip. They've also done a lot of different ties from the Bond movies, not just James Bond, but even Q. So they really cover a lot of aspects. But what you may not have known is they have a very rich heritage in both clothing, in buttons, in tailoring. And it's the tailoring aspect we want to talk to about today because the gentleman over there who's become quite a friend actually, Steve Edwards, is extremely passionate not just about Benson and Clegg and good fine tailoring but about Bond. So although we started to have a conversation around the whole Roger Moore aspect, I said to him quite frankly, I love a double-breasted blazer because to me, if you have a pretty good athletic form, it fits you perfectly. It's got that kind of tapered in waist. It's got the great shoulders and it just, it's got that military look. In fact, it's based on military aspects. And well, Benson and Clegg has quite a military background. So fast forward, we got to talking and we said, what if we were to create a blazer for the Bond experience to review that had all these Bond-inspired moments. So, guess what just showed up? And yes, this is the box that you get. I mean, it's thin, but it's huge. And they did it like this because, well, they don't want this to be a wrinkled mess and all bunched up when you get it. These things are made with so much tender, loving, heritage, transformational care that they ship it like this. So now we're gonna unbox it. As you can see from the tape, we haven't even unboxed it yet. So let's get a knife and do this. All right, here we go. First time taking it out. All right, I mean, it looks like somebody pressed it mid-transport. I mean, this is how good it looks right now, which is absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna take this protective cloth off. Oh boy, this looks absolutely amazing now they, it, it's put on some sort of cardboard form they really do this right you see the buttons let me uh, let me start to take this apart so they've got and again we go into this nauseating detail so you see all the care I mean these things are really heritage pieces there's a little envelope in there we'll go check out what that is there are some things in the box we're gonna get to that in a second but um, 
We're going to take these out of the sleeves. So they put paper in the sleeves when it travels so it doesn't come all ungeputzt. Is that a word? It is not. It may be. And this is what we do here. All right. So now I've got the blazer. And before I put it on, I need to tell the story about this blazer. And I need to show you some details around this. Situated in the heart of London, St. James, a location synonymous with the Gentleman's Club, Benson & Clegg has earned a reputation as the leading authority on the traditional club blazer, a garment that has established itself as an icon of British style. With its roots descending from naval origins, it seemed only apt that Benson & Clegg were the bespoke tailors to the then Admiral of the Fleet, His Majesty King George VI. The king epitomized style and sophistication, dressing in a manner and tone that was admired across the globe and encapsulated the very essence of traditional British tailoring. To this day, their reputation as the go-to blazer people has grown exponentially. Now, today, the Benson & Clegg blazer offers a fresh approach to classic menswear, a unique blend of timeless elegance and contemporary design and while the style of their blazers have evolved over the decades, it retains many of the familiar features first established by Harry Benson over 80 years ago. Roped shoulders and wide sweeping lapels, bringing strength and breadth to the torso, a nipped in waist and flared skirt, extenuating the line of the body, perfect marriage actually, the form and function making it stylish yet practical garment. Being hand finished in their London workroom, this garment is crafted from a mid-weight navy hopsack cloth from Smith Woolens, features that rope shoulder that I mentioned before, and again, those peak lapels. Key features that you should notice, it's a six by two navy formal blazer with side vents. Side vents are really important for movement and each blazer is made to order. I can attest to that. It's crafted according to each customer's own unique measurements. That Smith Woolen uh, hop sack cloth is not only serving London tailors for many years, but TV and film industry and has actually featured in Bond. The curated collection of made in England buttons are perfect. And all of this, all of this creates a garment that is available for a limited run. So you know how this goes. I mean, this is only as good as as it fits it looks great on you know some mannequin and that's wonderful but how does it look on and i've been dying to do this so i'm going to put it on nice and careful oh that interior so cool i love the color wonderful all right let me uh do the typical bond shoot the cuffs so i make sure my shirt is in the right position yet yeah, you've got to do the little bond things because, you know, I'm kind of standing in the midst of it all. All right, so we're going to take that jigger button right there, and we're going to button it here so that kind of fastens it together. A little bit of how-to, see how it keeps it nice and closed, and when you sit down, you can undo all that. But sorry, Pierce, you really should keep it buttoned at all times. And this is where the rubber meets the road. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm smiling. I'm smiling because right away I'm starting to see the fit of this. Now, you're going to notice right away a couple things. Very important. First of all, sizing. I'm a 41 and been working out during COVID. Chest is kind of big, waist is suppressed somewhat, 31 inches. So, a lot of things on me, including blazers, tend to pucker. You've seen it before in some of my videos, it tends to pucker here, etc. There is no puckering. This is just perfectly smooth. I'm hard pressed to think if I even have anything that fits this well. You're also going to notice as I step back that this hits at a decent level. It shouldn't be certainly down to the knees like a sack suit, but it shouldn't also be too cropped. It looks too modern. No, this is the length of a good blazer. And speaking of length, look at the sleeve lengths. They're perfect. They allow just a little peak of the white Sea Island cotton shirt to come out, which is perfect. I mean, the sleeves are just fantastic. And the armholes are nice and high. That's important. 
you don't want bat wing. You've seen it before in some suits or blazers that you have, but the arms are perfectly suited to my arm. They're personalized to my arms, meeting up that incredible roping shoulder. Damn, that's a roping shoulder. That thing could like, you could, you could shave yourself with that shoulder. I love it. But look at what's happening here. This is such a military look. I wore this crisp white Sea Island cotton shirt for a reason to really show you let me get up nice, close, and personal. That that navy, that that dark midnight navy that really shows off the incredible lapels that are, they're classic. And this is an important distinction. We've shown you on this channel a lot of modern styles. We've shown you some avant-garde styles. We've shown you styles that kind of scratched my head and thought, I could I, could I not? And here's the reality. I love a double-breasted bla double blazer blazer. Yes. But the reason I love it is because it complements. If you have an athletic form, if you've got that taper, it really cinches you. And that's that kind of military aspect. You know, it really should push out your chest. You know, it should, it should show that you're like proud and, you know, it's that military cut. But look at the side. I'm going to be making sure not to hunch my shoulders forward. Stand up nice and straight, David. Look at the way everything fits to the side here. It is perfection. They've really tailored it perfectly. I could not be happier about the tailoring. Let's look at the back. We got to make sure all the details are there, right? We got this double vent here, which provides a lot of movement, but the back is fantastic. And by the way, when I do this with my arms, I'm not trying to um, do a moonraker into space. What I'm trying to do here is essentially show movement. I am not wearing this blazer to go around like some sort of robot or to, you know, hail a cab like this. This is supposed to move with me. I know Benson and Clegg, they really prescribe to what I prescribe to, which is you should wear the clothes. The clothes shouldn't wear you. When you wear something restricted, but this is all types of movement. When you wear something restricted, it's binding, and that's not what good tailoring is about. And by the way, that's not what inspires Bond, because Bond has to move quickly. He's an action-oriented hero. You've got to be able to move quickly, and I can do all types of things in here. Could I box? Could I do nunchucks? Hell yes, I could. Okay. I'm not going to do nunchucks. That was just to show you that I can actually move in this. And that's so important because when they took all the measurements, I mean, this was, was over FaceTime. I mean, let's not forget that. I mean, this is a, a modern day and age where we're finding all new ways to do things. This was done over FaceTime. Usually there's a face-to-face -face consulting moment. This was over FaceTime and they built me the perfect blazer. Now let's talk a about a couple things because as I look at these amazing buttons, that's the thing that also stands out. Benson and Clegg, known, known for their custom made buttons. These, I just wanted something simple. You could see these across a football field though. Look at the, the, the gold brassiness of them. So military-like, but yes, these are working buttons, but I'm, I'm of the mind. I'm not going to unbutton this. I want this to be shown. I don't want it to be hidden. On some suits, I do the whole, you know, unbutton one button. But when there's three, I'm just going to leave them like this. Look, the fact that I know it's working buttons is enough. So let's talk about this for a second, because from a feel standpoint, it's as important as fit. Now, I told you I wore a Sea Island cotton, super soft. These pants are just extremely luxurious, nice, soft loafers. All right, so I can't have this to be itchy. You know, I can't have the hand to be anything that's caustic or abrasive, like 100 grit sandpaper. The, the cloth on this is beautiful, which is why the clothing manufacturer, the cloth manufacturer rather, uh, has been used in Bond movies because it does have a luxurious hand to it. But, and this is so important, in travel, in going to the office, in going out on a date, it doesn't matter. This is strong. 
I mean, this can really hold up. This type of fabric is going to take a beating if necessary. Now, love Roger. Always wasn't great with action, but you know what? I think Roger would have taken a beating in this without any problem whatsoever. One thing I want to do is get up and close with the fabric itself. I mean, look at look at the beautiful look on that. Look at the smoothness. And it's just, I love this type of fabric, but you can see when you come up close, the richness of the blue is something that you really can't appreciate it until you're up close and personal. Now, you know I'm a detail guy, so let's talk about what else was in the box. First of all, you get this absolutely beautiful wood hanger, and you can see it's got the emblazoned Benson and Clegg on there. London established 1937. Hey, it's as old as me. No, it's older. It's not that. And it's got a really great suitor. Um, and yeah, we, we do. We talk about these things because they're important. It's folded in half. Don't think it's that short. But it's got the nice branding on it. But it's got this wonderful handle on it. And I love this because it's very simple. There are some suitors that are just monoliths. Um, this has all the details inside. They didn't scrimp out on the uh, scrimp or skimp. I think it's skimp. They didn't skimp out on the suitor here. So between the hanger and the suitor, what I've always feel like when you make an investment in something like this, the home that you put it in is very important. So this is a great home that it's going to go in when it's traveling with me to, to keep it protected. And that's pretty important. Now, this is for those of you that have said, kind of, David, where, where's your tie? With the blazer well i decided to pick out um what the live and let die tie that benson and clegg does and i put it on under the blazer so you can see kind of what a tie looks like underneath and <laughs> you know probably doesn't matter what tie you put underneath but i felt this was kind of a perfect one and it stays with the whole roger moore double-breasted blazer type and aspect you probably recognize the tie as i come up close but you can see again when you have clean lines when things are fitted well, everything pops. The tie pops, the, the shirt pops, the watch pops, and the blazer pops as well. The tie just kind of brings it all home. So final thoughts on this blazer. I mean, this has been a journey. We know that Benson Clegg um, are now doing these for people globally worldwide, whether you can get there or you can't get there, they're being extremely flexible about it. So what's my overview? It's been amazing. It's not just the blazer itself. It's not just that it fits perfectly and it feels great and it's made of wonderful fabrics and it's got a great heritage brand behind it. The customer experience, whether it was Ollie or Steve or anybody else at Benson and Clegg, was untouchable. It was perfect. It was great communication. They were passionate about what they were doing. They were also passionate about my passion. What do I mean by that? Well, they knew that I wanted a Bond-like or Bond-inspired blazer. And they didn't say like, sir, you know, we're, we're Benson and Clegg, okay? You know, no, they, they absolutely understood what that meant. Well, there you have it, the journey back and forth. And... I cannot thank enough Benson and Clegg for the communication, the passion, the heritage, the inspiration and their passion that really helped to create this very personalized piece of clothing. So all the details are down below of where you can contact them. But for now, I'm going to go enjoy this. I'm going to wear it out in the wild. I'm going to start to remember again what it's like to wear formal wear. Uh, and blazers and belts and socks. It's, it's a whole new world. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. This has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Oh. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.